All right, down here at the Hockey Hall of Fame, these kids are happy, but uh, we're not happy about one young man who decided to help himself to something very vital inside the spirit of hockey. Police are looking for the suspect who took a world junior and a world championship ring. Uh, two rings in total. They belong to Paul Correa, and they were on display. They're gone now, and the search is on. Police releasing these images of the suspect who walked into the spirit of hockey store that's attached to the hall on February the 11th. He snuck into the storage closet that opened into the display case where the rings from the 93 and 94 Canadian champions were on show. Now, they've been donated by all-star Paul Correa, who was inducted last year. The suspect then took off in a rented U-Haul van. So there aren't many rings like this in the world. So why would somebody want to own something like that, something they can't show off, they can't share with people? U of T psychologist Professor Steve Jordans says he has his theories, one being people may think the object has powers of sorts. Uh, yeah, I guess we could go all the way back to the, the you know, secret chalice, the holy grail that people look for. There's, there's this notion that if somebody important had used that, that it gains some sort of mojo, I think. And, and the hope is you can share in that mojo somehow through the memorabilia. Um, is that a psychological term, mojo? mojo? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I kind of think it is. Uh, Professor Jordan, who collects autographed guitars, says things like this could also make people feel connected to the person who won it or played it. But there could also be a very simple reason they were stolen. Is he planning on passing himself off as somebody who is in the juniors? Like, I'm not sure. Is, is he the kind of guy that wishes he had, you know, had that experience, maybe played hockey, and maybe when he's in a pub he likes to... You know, meet people with his junior ring on. That that's a sort of highbrow, you know, planning way. All right. As for the suspect in this case involved in the theft here at the uh, Spirit of Hockey at the Hall of Fame, he's uh, 25 to 35 years old, about five foot ten, with brown hair, and he's wearing virtually all gray and had glasses on as well. If you can help out, give police a call.